Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with another episode of the AC Milan career mode here on Xbox One. It's episode number 19. It's Thursday, so of course there will be a My Player episode later on tonight. Just a reminder, to check your sub boxes around about 9 o'clock. Uh, one thing I might as well actually point out, if you check the uh, description, there is actually a schedule for when I upload my videos. And uh, if you check the About page on my channel page as well, you can find it there. I've had a few tweets and a few uh, comments, etc. saying, when's this coming out, when's that coming out, etc. So if, uh, if you don't know what my uh, what my schedule is then uh, feel free to check it and then you know exactly what's coming from me and when it's coming to you but uh, yeah my play route tonight just a reminder but let's get cracking with the episode shall we because we get off to a fantastic start away at Udinese lovely finish from Kozuki Honda to put us 1-0 up on his weak foot as well as Naldo who clearly has made a, a, a move from the Bundesliga into Serie A to come to Udinese a great strike on his right foot in off the post and uh, a lovely way to start the episode after what you have to say was a pretty disappointing episode yesterday if you missed it there'll be an, a link as an annotation in the bottom left hand side of your screen or of course feel free to, uh, to check the channel page but we give away a penalty just five minutes later it's, uh, Victor Ruiz giving away the penalty I do believe and uh, I'm not sure whether it's a pen or not he does appear to get the ball from the replay, but regardless, the referee deems it a foul, gives the pen, and Di Natale absolutely takes the piss out of me with a cheeky dink finish, and then a messy celebration, which uh, perhaps is a little bit above his uh, pay grade, but still, they uh, they are back on level terms nonetheless. So, El Suari trying to get us back in the game, squares the ball out to Barté, pushes down the right-hand side, trying to use that pace, cuts inside to Lulic, lovely turn inside, can't quite get the shot away before the defender is able to get back across to him and put in a good challenge. But we come again. De Cilio down the left-hand side this time. Breaking in. Trying to find a ball into the box if he can. He can't. So he turns back to find Shrawawi. Shrawawi. El Shrawawi. There we go. That's his name. Mario Balotelli gets the turn in and he draws a great save out of the goalkeeper there to, uh, to keep us out yet again. But... We weren't done. We're going to catch them on possess in possession again. Kazuki Honda into Mario Balotelli. Finds the reverse reverse ball back to Kazuki Honda. Jeeps, I'm messing up loads today. Squares the ball up. There's Stefan El Sharawi. Can't quite get the shot away. Drops to Balotelli. Does get the shot away. But again, it's a great save by the goalkeeper. Ballo finds himself on the edge of the box yet again. A lovely fake shot. Turns inside. Goes for the far bottom corner. Fantastic whip on it. But unfortunately, not quite enough to find that bottom corner. And we stay at 1-1. So into the second half. We have more chances. Matthias De Cilio breaking in from the left-hand side. Lovely driven run from the left-back slash right-back who's playing at left-back. And uh, is unfortunately not able to find that far bottom corner. But we still aren't done. We're having more chances. Kaizuki Honda draws another great save out of the goalkeeper. Six yards out. Drops to Balotelli. It's going to get another shot in that's well blocked. It's going to get a third shot in that just flies past that far post. How many chances do we need to get ourselves in front of this game? Maybe a change is what we need. Giovanni Dos Santos and Adam Yates coming onto the pitch for Stefano Sharawi and uh, Senad Lulic. Perhaps they can provide the, uh, the instigation we need to get ourselves in front. Balotelli linking up well with Giovanni Dos Santos. A nice one too. Balotelli breaks into the box. It's a lovely run. Giovanni finds him. The header flies far. Or flies past the far post. So another chance gone begging. How many do we need? We're only in the 70th minute now. We're going to catch them in possession yet again. It's Naldo losing out to Giovanni dos Santos. It's going to stand the ball up. There it is to Balotelli. Great turn. Five yards out. Put it in the back of the net, please, Mario. He can't find the back of the net either. Plays it straight at the goalkeeper for an umpteenth time. So we make a third change to try and get ourselves in front. This time it's Alexander Lacazette coming on for Mario Balotelli. Maybe he can prove the difference in this game to get us in front. We again catch them in possession. Lacazette, the man to uh, nick the ball away, finds Kazuki Honda. It's a gorgeous ball cross to Giovanni Dos Santos. He's, of course, he's always going to try and turn inside on his left foot there. The second touch isn't the best and it turns him away from goal and just narrows the angle there. And unfortunately, again, we can't find the goal and we only take a point away at Udinese. A game that we most definitely deserved all three from. As you can see, 14 shots Eight on target, one goal. Not good enough. It's just not good enough. But the next game is even bigger. 
Milan versus Borussia Dortmund. Now, of course, if you saw yesterday's video, you'll you will realise that we uh, unfortunately lost the first leg 3-0 away from home in the snow. So we really have the biggest of tasks up against us today. It's the decider against Dortmund. And hopefully we can come away with at least a three-goal win, a 3-0 win. Of course, if they score here, it's going to lead us to score one more to win the, uh, the the tie on aggregate as well as on the night because the away goal will count as double of course so Mario Balotelli comes close another chance created on target well saved by the goalkeeper Giovanni Dos Santos breaks free inside on his left foot he's been so much more effective since I moved him across to the right hand side but again it's another good save by Roman Wiedenfeller keeping us out it's another shot on target into Mario Balotelli it's trying to twist and turn finds a lovely run from El Sarawi tries to finesse it straight at the goalkeeper Roman Wiedenfeller has the easiest of saves to do and he pats it away just 23 minutes in now Shirawi finds himself in again down the right hand side spectacular overhead kick from Mario Balotelli and then the header follow up from Giovanni Dos Santos both straight at the goalkeeper so that's five chances five on target still no goals into the box, break Borussia Dortmund. Can they catch me on the counter-attack? It's not the best of clearances. Tops to Mkhitaryan, falls to Fernando Torres of all people. And how more realistic can you get? Fernando Torres missing an open goal from six yards out. I'm sorry, Fernando, or 12 yards out, actually. It was by the penalty spot. Be fair, it was a little bit further out than I thought. But still, it's an opportunity he really should have scored. And Poli plays in Honda here. Great strike. And again, Wiedenfeller is on hand to make a phenomenal save. Goalkeepers are really doing everything against me today to try and keep us out from winning games and progressing through in cup competitions. But uh, Giovanni Dos Santos finds himself through again just inside the second half. That's seven shots, seven on target. Still no goals. We'll try again, shall we? Mario Balotelli Rick nicks the ball away from the defender. Giovanni Dos Santos finds a great run from Stefan El Shrawi. In behind, finesse shot underneath the goalkeeper. We have a goal! It took us eight attempts to get the goal. Eight shots on target. Lovely run by El Shrawi, by the way. And a great find from Giovanni Dos Santos. Tidy little finish. Can we get ourselves another two? That's all we need. Nigel de Jong and Alexander Lacazette are going to come on for Kazuki Honda and Ricardo Montalivo. We need to make another breakthrough if we possibly can, and soon. Mario Balotelli has a great run off him there from Alexander Lacazette. Finds himself in behind. The touch is heavy. I panic. I try and dink it over the goalkeeper, and I get it all wrong. And it just sits up for Roman Wiedenfeller to gleefully clutch into his chest. And Gundogan is going to be the instigator again to play in Mkhitaryan. Finds himself free in the box to break Milan hearts. We now need another four goals in the last 10 minutes of the game. It's just not going to happen. We're 1-1 on the night. We're 4-1 down on aggregate. And they have that away goal. And you can see I was playing on uh, attacking or ultra attacking. I can't quite remember. But my defence was nowhere. There was no shape to the defensive lineup. We were just throwing bodies forward. Trying to get those extra goals. And it cost us. So we draw on the night. Unfortunately we lose on aggregate. And we are out of the Champions League. But there are loads of shock results here. Barcelona beating Chelsea 4-2. Not necessarily a shock result. Bayer Leverkusen beating Juventus 1-0 over two legs. Definitely is a shock result. Uh, Atletico beat uh, CSK Moscow. Man City beat PSG 4-1. Real Madrid beat Bayern Munich 2-1. Porto and United are through against Ajax and Schalke respectively. But that's our competition in Europe done for the season. And uh, the board weren't too keen. And that's understandably so. They wanted us to get through to the uh, the round of... No, to the quarterfinals at the very least in, uh, in the Champions League. And uh, we weren't able to do so. That was just the round of 16 that we got knocked out in. But they've given us £4 million additional transfer budget. So that will come in handy for next season. But uh, we don't have any time to think about next season just yet. Because we need to get ourselves into the Champions League spots. To, uh, to make sure that we have European football next season. Or at least in uh, the higher Champions League as opposed to the lower Europa League. So we need three points at home against Kievo Verona. You'll see the league popping up on your screen right now. We still sit fifth. We've got a game in hand, so we can catch up on those above us if we're able to pick up three points. And catch up is exactly what we need to do. And Kievo were on the attack here, but Lacazette's going to catch them on the counter attack. We're playing a rotation side because it was just a few days after the Dortmund game. So, uh, sorry, I kind of pinched my nose there to scratch it. And I kind of went all a little bit weird. But we uh, we go 1-0 up here in the seventh minute. Lovely breakaway by Alexander Lacazette. Fantastic uh, Maradona turn to get away from the defender. Has the pace to just race past anyone in his path. Squares the ball to uh, add out to route. We find ourselves 1-0 up. But what was De Cilio's positioning all about there? 
I, uh, I left the replay so you can see this. He runs like three or four yards past the ball, past the cross, past the man. Just doesn't follow his man. And then just kind of flops back towards it in a poor attempt to try and get on the end. Just watch him. Arr, it's just awful defending. And back at 1-1 we find ourselves as we head into stoppage time at the end of the first half. And the clearance there really is awful. Christian Zapata back in the side after returning, returning from a break and tailbone. Gets the uh, clearance away after rebounded it off him and almost went in for an own goal. But we're going to catch him on a counter-attack yet again. Uh, Rubinho being involved here with Alexander Lacazette. Two of our fastest players in the team. Rubinho breaks free. Gary... Great tackle on the defender, lovely body feint with an inverted step over and a tidy finish into the bottom corner. And that's a stereotypical Rubinho goal. Lovely inverted step over to, uh, to send the defender and then a tidy side footed finish. To give us a 2-1 lead as we head into the second half. And Adam Yeats is playing De Cilio down the right hand side. We're trying to play some possession football, just trying to break them down. Because you can see how many men they've got behind the ball there. It's 10 men behind the ball. And uh, Lacazette plays the ball in there. Lovely reverse ball to Adam Yeats. Glorious finish, it has to be said, right up into that top right-hand corner. We take a 3-1 lead with just 10 minutes to go. And of course, as you might imagine, that does mean we're going to run out victors and gain the three points that we need to close the gap to those teams above us in the Serie A to try and get those those try and get those points and those positions we need to get Champions League football because of course we need to finish top three not top four like it is in England and we sit six points but with a game in hand behind Napoli and eight points but with two games in hand behind Inter so we're not too far away and we still have to play all of the teams above us apart from Juventus I think so it's definitely all to play for in the league we need to be on form we need to go on a nice winning run now we don't have the distraction of European football so maybe we can uh, really knuckle down and get a nice winning run together in the league. But that's going to bring this episode to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Like I say, there will be my player tonight, so feel free to check your sub boxes at 9 o'clock for that. And uh, feel free to leave this video a like as well if you did enjoy. That'd be absolutely superb. If you aren't subscribed to the channel and you would like to do so, there's a link on screen. There's an annotation on the left-hand side, a link in the description, and your usual subscribe button as well. There's also a link in the description to my Twitter, at Chesnoy Gaming. Feel free to follow me over there. And if you missed the previous episode from this series yesterday's then there will be a link as an annotation on the screen over the right hand side emblem there to take you to that but that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching i will see you tonight with my player and tomorrow with some more ac milan career mode